today. Hope you can hear me on the mic. Uh, I got this little H bot here. However, I have to move the wheels in in order to get it on my trailer because I don't own a gooseneck right now. So we're going to try it this way. Oh. So, strangely enough, that wasn't terrible. We will just uh, back these off a little bit more. Alright guys, welcome back to the show. Good news is, is I have it rolling, I have it moving. I'm ready to try to put it on the trailer. So, all I had to do was uh, move in my back wheels like you always have to do because I don't have a gooseneck yet. And actually, it went pretty well for the day. So, next time you see this, it's going to be loaded up on the trailer. We hope. Alright guys, so we're going to pop the uh, cap off here. Take a look at what's inside. Well, it's been a while since that started. So... Just pull out the uh, cobwebs. I don't see anything too terrible there. Set that up there out of the way. Look at this. Well, I could use a little, a little bit of carbon on it. Looks fine. Get this up here out of the way. Oh, hey. I think those points look uh, pretty good. We're going to polish them just a bit here. Just because everything's been sitting. try this is a uh, just a piece of like I think it's like 220 or something like that <sighs> hmm I'll tell you what that's worth uh, sticking a battery in and go from there all right let's uh, put a little gas in it See how it all goes. Doesn't look bad there. And no leaks. Okay. I'll bring you back here in just a minute. All right, guys. So I got a battery hooked up. Check the points. I got my switch on. I got half throttle. Let's see what she does. Well, that's very promising. Let's see what else we got.
that was a, a little surprising. So I definitely think we're gonna have to put a carb kit in it. We're gonna tear that apart, clean it all up. But I think I can get it to run well enough. We might actually be able to take it for a short drive, at least to the edge of the driveway. So let's see what she wants to do. safe to say it needs some carb work, but I am not the least bit upset with that. All the gears seem quiet, runs out pretty well. We're going to have to tear into that, give it a good cleaning up. Antifreeze is circulating well. Um, pretty happy with that. That battery box could be fun to get off there. But we'll work on that next. The only thing I think that's going to cause issues, I think that big alternator they put on this might be a challenge to get the hood to set up right. So overall I'm ecstatic about my Diamond in the Rough Farmall H. Uh, the tires are junk. They hold air, but they're junk. You can see the uh, the big split from where they sat, and it's too bad they sat because those are a nice set of tires. And then over here on this, draw bar looks about normal. Shifted through all the gears, good. All right, pretty nice wartime H. I think we're going to uh, park it in the row over there next to the other M. Pull the carburetor off and get to work on it. And, oh, hey, wait a minute. I think that's got a new manifold on it too. Oh, yeah, that's got an aftermarket manifold on it. So overall, my Diamond in the Rough H seems to be pretty good. And uh, I'll keep you apprised of what all we're gonna do to it. Right now, I'm just gonna put some run time on it, change the oil, change the antifreeze, fix that battery box issue so I can get a good battery in it, and then we'll see what it's charging. Thank you guys for watching for today and uh, hit us with a like and a subscribe.